আমি তোমাদের জয় আর তোমরা দেশে তোমাদের প্রিয় চ্যানেল অল্প স্বল্প টেকের গল্প সেপ্টেম্বর দু হাজার উনিশ ছিল আমাদের বহুল প্রচলিত বিজ্ঞানের ম্যাগাজিন কিশোর বিজ্ঞানীর তিরিশতম বর্ষপূর্তি আর কিশোর বিজ্ঞানীর এই তিরিশতম বর্ষপূর্তিতে আমাদের বন্ধু উপস্থিত ছিলেন প্রখ্যাত বিজ্ঞানী শ্রী জয়ন্ত বিশ্ব নারলিকার এবং তার স্ত্রী বিখ্যাত ম্যাথামেটিশিয়ান শ্রীমতী মঙ্গলা নালিকের আজকে আমাদের ভিডিওটি তিন ভাগে ভাগ করা আছে প্রথমে আমরা শুনে নেব ম্যাডাম মঙ্গলা নালিকার বিজ্ঞান সম্বন্ধে জ্যোতির্বিজ্ঞান সম্বন্ধে কি কি বললেন Like rice and wheat, with coins in them, with clothes also in them, 
and then uh, these uh, crowds of untouchables used to pass on the road in the cities. They dance, so they dance, they dance, so they dance. So he said, on the number of he said, we threw this packet. We gave this dan, dhanya dan, dravya dan, vastra dan, so that their gods, their gods who were supposed to be Rahu and Ketu, they will free the sun or the moon and let us have our holy bodies in the sky again. So see, they so grew up. And when I learned in the science how are these eclipses formed, what is this? This is just a shadow play. When the moon comes in between the sun and the earth, part of the sun gets covered and we think that it is a sort of solar eclipse. And when the earth comes between the sun and the moon, the part of the moon does not get the sunshine and it is the earth's shadow that takes the moon. We don't do it in school, we saw the models. Now I had to come back home and told my grandmother this is not so what you have been teaching us is wrong. It is outright wrong and this is only a play of shadows. Somebody tried to argue with me, but isn't it nice? Isn't it good to give dan, to give help to the poor untouchables? This is also very wrong. Why should they get until such an event and when they are not responsible for it at all? Why shouldn't we help them otherwise? Why do we have to wait for the eclipse time to help the untouchables? This is so wrong, this is so illogical. Now if we don't get good logical thinking and the good reasoning, we can't fight with these old customs of superstition. I fought with my dad. And I told them they are not going to do this and this is not correct and this is not even good. So what I am trying to suggest is we learn from the science, we use our greed or demand. And then we can fight with the superstition. We can fight with the wrong beliefs that uh, Rumi and Parampara have got in our religion. The religious rules at the beginning, in any religion, they are supposed to be very good. They are supposed to help the whole society. Why do they make differences in different castes? And it is so silly when we really study astronomy, not astrology, that we learn the actual waves of these huge bodies in the sky. Huh? You know that the Saturn or the Mars, it weighs so many kilos of tons and they follow the rules. The rules have been found out by mathematics, by Kepler and Newton and we know how these actual bodies are moving in the sky. We can predict where they will be in the space. And we know all about their movements. And do you really think that these huge, huge bodies which are moving according to certain rules in the space, huh? they will think of us humans, which are smaller than even uh, insects for it, smaller, smaller than bacteria for these huge astral bodies. Will they make difference in these human beings and decide to give trouble to a certain section and to give favors to another section. Do you think that that is possible? Do you think that they will be pleased if you perform some puja here and give uh, dravya dal and things to Brahmins or to give perform uh, um, uh, 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 your different pujas and worship this god or that god that that Saturn on Mars is going to be pleased with you? Do they have means? Can they really differentiate between us who are smaller than bacteria for them? So use your will and demand. And then you decide what to believe and what to discard. Religion always changes. Vivekananda has taught us all. Raja Ram Mohan Roy from Bengal has taught us all. Religion has to reform and has to discard 
things which are useless, which are harmful, and which are protected against the actual objective knowledge that is gained by the science. Those things we need to scrape off. We need to scrape off and change our religion for a better world. This is what I think. Gautam Buddha and Swami Vivekananda. I hold them as my ideals because they try to present the religion in a nice, good, really useful form for the whole society. Don't make differences. I mean, don't try to divide our society. Don't try to make somebody higher than uh, and somebody lower in status. No, this is wrong. There have been good saints who have been advocating good feelings and good values. We have Pukaram in Marathi. He says two simple lines. In fact, we can call it one big one. Punya para upakara, papa te para pira, yakuna nani tuza, garmo masa. If you want to have the basic life for any religion, and any religion does admit it. Is punya par upakara. If you want merit, help others. Papa par pita. That is, say this sin to hurt others. That's all. Let us have this base and then have our own goods of religion. Fortunately, our religion can evolve. It has evolved. We have, we have got examples. We have got examples of the old Sati Pratha being demolished. It started right here in Bengal. Let us have complete the work of trying to complete. We can't even claim to complete it in our lifetimes because this is a very, very slow process. But let us be on it. Let us work on it. And let us not give it up. Scrape off, scrape off all the hurtful things and all the things which are bad for the society and which can superstition, which are totally against the objective truth that is found by the science. Let us keep on it. Thank you. This is the first video of the first video. Madam Mungar Alikar, Big Gang, Tamil Law, Mokta Barakli. आशा करूँ भाई वीडियो शॉप पर भले देखा करें एवं एक बार आज भी मैं यार पौरव बहुत ही दुखना वीडियो जिसका नहीं हमारा देखो प्रोफेसर जॉइन्ड विशेष नॉलेज का जो दिन दिन नहीं किसी बोल लें